Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies, Joe, we have the new foot birthday SBC Palacio card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high, high work rates, right footed, five star skimmels with a three star weak foot. In regards to his in-game player traits, he actually does have the finesse shot trait and the leadership trait. In-game attributes, he's got 94 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Now, if you actually take a look at this card, he actually has so much potential and I'm going to explain to you guys why, right? So obviously we're going to be giving him the Hawk chemistry style because of his base card stats for dribbling being really high. The reason why this is really important for a card like Palacio is because of the fact that he has the lean body type, right? So that way, uh, because I don't have to improve his dribbling stats that much and I can improve his shot power finishing and pace as much as possible while also giving him some physical stats, we're looking at a potential beast with this card, okay? Regardless of the fact that he has the three-star weak foot because obviously nowadays it's more important to have um, the five-star skills than the three than to, than to have the five-star weak foot, but obviously it'd be nice to have at least a four-star uh, to be able to finish some opportunities that you may not be able to because it's even helpful for the finesse shot trait too, right? But with base card stats for shooting, he's at 98, 92, 86, 92 for volleys at 95 composure right so with the hawk we want to improve the shot power on this card as much as possible to work with the finesse shot trait that this card has right base card stats for passing as a person who is mostly going to be playing in the striker position is very good as well long passing you may do from time to time but it's mostly just going to be short passing anyway so it's not necessarily a big deal that it's low uh base card stats for dribbling is very good for a card like this we're obviously going to be testing it out in game because that lean body type with base card stats like this is going to be very interesting to try out because 90 95 89 97 95 95 all together it just sounds really good. Like even the 89 reactions is like a good cutoff for the body type that he has, right? Defensive stats, he's got 83 for heading accuracy. Not really crazy important, but obviously if we cross the ball forward or if we pass the ball forward, you know, maybe he can win a ball back uh, and pass it into the midfield to go on the counter or whatever it is, right? Uh, base card stats for physical on this card is very nice because with the Hawk chemistry style, you're also going to be giving him 99 aggression to work with the pace that he has while also having a plus 10 for jumping, which is awesome, right? So this card has a lot of potential. Uh, I do think that he's going to be pretty saucy. Hopefully he is in game. Uh, we're obviously going to be using the 41212. Actually, we can use the 352. The 352 would definitely be a lot of fun to use. We're going to try this out, actually. Palacio playing on the left side, because if we get into some situations where we could potentially hit some finesse shots with him, I do want to try that out with this card. Instructions will just be on stay forward, so we don't influence his attacking AI too much, because I want to see what it's like with the high, high work rates, because the high, high work rates is definitely a very interesting instruct or work rate to work with in the striker position, because for me personally, I like to use high mediums, high lows, and... Uh, medium lows up top right so we'll see if his uh work rates affects the card too much so yeah let's get into a game and uh see how he plays oh am i gonna get that still no imagine he actually intercepted that to be fair it's uh you know i wish he was able to intercept that from my good de defensive awareness but oh nice fake shot EA. i actually did it twice there to register and it still uh passed the ball away <laughs> Hmm. His dribbling is uh, interesting so far. Uh, let, me see, let me see if this is a consistent thing. First time? Oh, you missed that. No shot. No momentum on the ball over there. Huh. Hmm. Okay. So we do the angled run there to the bottom. That we definitely noticed for sure. The finesse shot, not as crisp as I thought it would be with the Hawk chemistry style. Base card stats, maybe? Nicely done. We always have to work that shot cancel angle because of the way that... Uh, the defensive AI is, right? You have to do those like really quick cuts to kind of like open up the space for yourself. Oh, nice pass there, actually. Regular shot across goal. Okay, we'll take that. Nicely done. I did a shot cancel in the wrong direction there because I wanted to see uh, 
how fast you would be at them. Oh, oh, he hits the post. No shot. No shot. He just hits the post right there. Oh, that would have been a crazy finesse shot. His finesse shots are definitely, like, not as crisp as someone like Messi's. Like... To be honest, I'm not, I don't know if I'm noticing the finesse shot too much on him, like the actual trait. I mean, it's one of those things that's like more like it's nice to have that for him, you know? Like players like Hyungmin, Sun, and Messi, like when they take finesse shots, they're, they're crazy, man. I have to keep trying them though, because I need to see if it's like a consistent thing. Little run right here with Ribery. Ooh, nice animation for the power strike there, actually. That animation was pretty cool. Did I just get a penalty? Oh, he just... no penalty? It's because he wasn't controlling him, the game just registers that, I guess. Oh, did I get the angle? Oh, the defender just blocked it. Oh my goodness, man. Ooh, we got to play that too. Hmm, okay. I'm testing out like the distance and the shot power between the different shots that he has. Oh, I try to work that finesse shot angle there with him. Oh, man. Right there I did a dummy and then I try to go for extra dribbles. I think he's gonna leave, so... Okay, guys, I want to try him out differently for this next game here. So this one, I want to force the get in behind instruction out of him. Come back and defense. Target man, come back and defense for Ronaldo. And uh, I want to try Palacio on this 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have to play one more game with him because he's giving me fraud vibes so far. So I want to see if that's going to be the actual case. Because the stats that he has, he should be... Way better than what that first game suggested, especially with the finesse shot tray with the hawk chemistry style on it. Like, you know what I mean? We're gonna see. That's why I always, man. It's it's the for cards like this that base cards have for shot power. I need to I need to I need to see again. Okay, you could tell that you see the shot power. It doesn't feel like he has that like. That oomph behind it. You know what I'm saying? Positioning wise though, with the getting behind instruction, very good there. Stays on side in a good position. We get that near post angle and we score. Yeah, too small to win those in the air, regardless. Well, heading accuracy is there, obviously, but it's five foot nine. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I'll be honest with you, man. His dribbling should feel way better than this. Like, Dybala is, like, kind of smooth with it, you know? I do like his attacking AI, though, man. I have him on the get him behind, and he moves across the pitch really nicely. Finesse shot angle right there. Yeah, I wanted to try one with his weak foot right there. You can definitely tell, guys, that he doesn't have that, like, craziness behind his shot power, for sure. Maybe it's playing to the 86. Maybe the hot chemistry style is not doing anything to him. I don't know, dude. Probably just a base characteristic of his, you know? Sometimes it happens to some of these cards that get upgraded. Shot from there? Okay, that was a good strike. That one was a good strike. Leaves from that game. Um, No, I need to keep testing him. This is one of those cards, guys. This is one of those cards because, guys, the stats that he has, he should feel way better, in my opinion. Like, this this initially looked like an insane card, a card, because, like, what are people giving him? Like, the Hawk is the best choice, is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. I want to try out more of his finesse shots, so that target man for Ronaldo, I'm actually going to do that instead, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to rotate him up top there. Um, his high, high work rates, guys, it doesn't affect his attacking AI too much. Like, he definitely moves across the pitch nicely. Um, it's not generic by any means, which is good. Because um, he does make those angled runs. He gets into the right positions to go on his right foot and stuff. Uh, but he's he's a little weird, man. He's a weird one because, like I said, it should feel better, but we'll see. 
it's not that the card is bad. It's not a bad card by any means. It should just feel like one of the better ones in the game. You know, he has all the right things, man. Nice. That's a heal to heal against the goalie. Yep. See, his attacking AI is actually quite nice. I even have the target man on him, but he still gets into the right areas to make those runs in behind. So that's great. That one came off nice, at least. There we go. Now we're hitting them. Now we're hitting those bad boys. You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, yeah, man, this card is so... He's a weirdo, man. He's one of those weird ones, guys. Like, you know when you look at cards, you're like, oh, he's gonna be pretty good. It's like, he, he's a weirdo, man. There we go. Got a finesse shot off with him there, too. Yeah, he kind of stopped right there because he's like, it doesn't really make much sense to continue that run, to be fair. Good finish right there. We'll take that. Nicely done. Guys, this is one of those cards where I have to play more games with him because I really... I can't understand the stats to how he performs in game. Like, I, he should perform way better. I'm going to give him a finisher, right? Because of the finishing boost that he's given. But it's the agility, balance, and dribbling boost that I want to give him. And I want to see if that makes a difference for him. To be fair, yesterday when I reviewed the um, the Huang He Chang card, that card needed a finisher and he actually played better. So it could be the same case here with Palacio. We'll see. Oh, near post angle right there. High finishing. Yeah, you, the shot power thing I stand by completely. Like his shot power, uh, he doesn't have that like craziness behind it. Like the, for those uh, really good strikes, you know. Like even Simon, when I reviewed him yesterday, he has really good shots when he gets into the right areas. Oh, that attacking AI is brilliant though. Finesse shot. Ah, <sighs> Pope, man. Pope's really good at saving them, by the ways. Like he he actually has specific save animations that you notice. That's why he's so good, man. Oh! Oh! Oh, I almost got that ball roll touch right there. Oh, man, I got him on that finesse shot and I still didn't score. The weak foot, right? Three star? If it was like a four star or five star, it'd be actually really nice. All right, guys, so final verdict on the foot birthday Palacio card. This is one of those cards where I had to play with him for more than the games that I usually play because I couldn't get a proper read on him, and which is really weird because, guys, you take a look at the card's base card stats, right? This guy should have been a monster, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think he's a bad card by any means. I still think he's pretty good. I think the price value of 200k for the stats that he has and the way that he performs in-game is not bad at all. Um, I just think that with the way that this card is formatted for the gameplay of this game, I thought he should have been significantly better, right? I even gave him the finisher chemistry style to see if the dribbling boost was a thing that I had to boost on him with the with the finisher, right? The agility, balance, and, and dribbling boost. And it didn't really feel that much different. Like, I did notice it a little bit, but not significant enough to the point where I'm like, oh my god, this card's going to be really nice. Um, his finesse shots don't feel special. He's one of those cards that has the trait, and they come off nicely, but they're not going to come off like someone like Hyungmin Sun or Messi. Like, Hyungmin Sun, I don't know what it is with this card, right? I tried out his player of the month at the time. And this card right here with this finesse shot trait is absolutely glorious with shooting stats like that, right? Um, I feel like with this Palacio card, whether I gave him the Hawk chemistry style or the finisher, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be, right? Does that make sense? Because with the stats that he's given, guys, he's got 97 shot power, 96 shot power. Maybe it's the long shots that affects it a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, something fell off with that as well. Attacking AI was perfectly fine. I definitely liked that on the card. His dribbling was weird too, man. I thought that his dribbling was going to be significantly better because of the base card stats with the lean body type. But for me personally, guys, this is one of those weird cards 
that really is based off of his base characteristics from his original card, right? It's like a, an improved version of his original that doesn't feel like it's been like, like it's been upgraded, obviously, but it's not upgraded to like what this is. Like if you were to give, what is like a really good example of like a baby meta card? If you gave Dembele these stats, right? With a Hawk chemistry style, that card would be cracked because of his base characteristics. Does that make sense? This Palacio card didn't feel like that. He felt like his, honestly, he felt like he had that flashback card that we got last year but just has the five-star skills. And that flashback was like, you know? It was like, oh yeah, you know, it's cool to use them, you know? That's what it feels like with this Palacio card, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.